Hi there. Today we're going to look at a fantastic resource to help you get redder, better at reading music notes. It's called musictheory.net. It's a, a fantastic and fun online resource. Let's dive right into it. You're going to want to start by opening up your internet browser. I've already done that here. And you're going to want to go to the website musictheory.net. This is a fantastic website for a lot of reasons. Um, right here under the first drop down menu, Lessons, you can teach yourself a lot about music from the very basics through some very advanced things. But today, we're going to go to the Exercise tab and we're going to go to Note Identification. Before we start playing, we're going to go to the Customize Settings right over here this little gear wheel and here's where you can set how easy or advanced you would like it to be you can set your clefs here's the very basic treble clef the second most basic bass clef those other clefs that most people don't even know they're out there the C clefs here's a funny another F clef down here the grand staff which is nothing more than the treble and bass clef put together for our demonstration, we're going to, go, going to go with the basic treble clef. Some other things you can customize if you wanted to practice. You could practice just lines and spaces. Every good boy does fine. Space rhymes with face. You could practice lines and spaces together, and that's where we're going to put our settings. We can also practice the range we could make it very small we could make it very large we could customize it to meet our needs if I'm a, a flute player this might be a good setting to practice all those ledger lines up above the staff for right now let's just go with the basic lines and spaces of the staff Some other things you could customize. Do you want to include key signatures from 1 through 7 flats or 1 through 7 sharps? Or, right now, no sharps or flats, which is a good place to start. Later on, you can practice naming them with different, different ways, letter names, scale degrees are a numbering system we use. Solfege syllables, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. For right now, we're going to go with letters. If you need some help, you can turn on helpers. When you get more advanced, you could practice naming your notes with sharps and flats. You can determine how many notes you want to use. We're going to go with them all. When you get really good, you can turn on the challenge mode. For right now, we're not going to do that. After your settings are customized, it's time to play. First notes in a space. Space rhymes with face, F-A-C-E. Next note in a space rhymes with face, F-A. Next note on a line. Every good boy does fine. F. Next note on a line. Every good boy does fine. Another line. Every good boy does fine. And then after trying that a few times, you can click out and go and look up cat videos or whatever else it is you do on your on your internet, or better yet, pick up your horn and practice.